Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Letterer, and today I'd like to talk to you about visual perceptual processing. Now, visual perceptual processing is different than some of the discussions we've had earlier. Although the way your eyes coordinate together and focus and track are the input skills that provide information regarding processing, processing relates to these higher order level thinking skills of understanding what it is that you're seeing and interpreting what you're seeing and the way in which it perceives to you to be this image that lays upon your brain and then you have to act upon that image in terms of being able to use visual imagery or memory to be able to access the way to for example use spelling words so often we're taught to look at spelling words from a phonetic decoding point of view and remembering words the way they sound rather than the way they look so often visualization is not really emphasized in school and yet geometry requires those fundamentals of visual perception to understand lines on, lines on a piece of paper are not just lines scattered but represent perspectives, depth, angles, the, what that means in terms of how a two-dimensional representation of space can be reflected as if it were three-dimensional on a piece of paper. Thicker ground is another visual perceptual aspect so important to things like word search. How do we find the figure from the background? Or are we so overwhelmed by what we're seeing? Is discrimination an issue, the ability to look at detail and see differences and similarities? All of these skills are so important to learning. Even the use of closure, can you see the whole from parts through the use of imagery? What is my right hand? Not just what your right hand is, but be able to project your body image in space and manipulate that so when I say, grab the right side of the chair, you say, with me sitting in it or me looking at it. So many of these aspects of visual processing are so important and the way in which we act upon this. In other words, when we look at a drawing and then we have to draw that drawing, we have to make a motor action to represent what it is that we viewed. That represents the entire experience of visual processing, the visual skills of eye teaming and focusing and tracking, and the visual perceptual skills of being able to see what you're looking at and being able to represent it through a motor output. Now it is these skills that are not really emphasized as they used to be in the academic environment. Speech and language are addressed, visual motor integration when it relates to copying and paper pencil, but more so with handwriting. But when we're asked to copy this complex drawing, we launch into the whole visual perceptual approach of what is this interpreted like? What do these lines look like? What are these angles? How do they mean these angles? Can you take this picture and draw it to the side? And can you duplicate that? What's different? What's the same? And so many times the self-esteem that leads to feelings that you can't do these things sometimes interfere with the capacity to learn. You see, visions learned, and so many times our self-esteem issues get in the way of our potential. It is for us to open up these capacities, to place something before an individual that is easy enough that they can grasp it without this feeling that they can't do it, to raise that level of demand and to finally achieve such a higher level of demand, they learn to transfer what we've taught them, not to just similar things, but to things we haven't taught them before. So it is this ability to teach vision, to teach visual processing, to grasp what is meant by visual imagery and visualization, to understand that a scissors thrown in the drawer, no matter how big or small, turned around, opened up, closed, different color, is still a scissors. And it's this type of ability to understand form constancy or seeing the whole from parts that allows us to use this skill as a new tool to learn to understand and to have forever because once one has learned these skills these are skills that you have for a lifetime